25 years ago this evening, Kansas City watched television for the first time, and they watched it right here on TV4, Kansas City's first television station. In the first of three special reports, Sue Parcell looks back at the way we were. <laughs> City, October 16th, 1949. William E. Kemp was mayor. Macy's just opened a new store downtown. And Kansas City had TV. Cole Porter's latest hit couldn't have said it better. watching television, it's hard to imagine what a big event that was. The Kansas City Star owned Channel 4 back then, and the paper headlined the arrival of TV, calling it the new magic medium of entertainment. That first night of programming lasted just four hours and included a thrilling half-hour documentary called The Birth of a TV Station. Viewers saw a film of the city's first TV tower under construction and shots of equipment being unloaded. There were only 8,000 TV sets in Kansas City back then, but an estimated 100,000 people watched that first night. It was really a big deal, and people gathered around in local stores, and if someone had a television set, you went over to their house to watch television. And We sat in one of the executives' homes to watch that first night on, in 1949, and there was a little 10-inch screen, you know, and you'd see these little uncertain images. The first TV studio was 20 by 20 feet. The whole thing cost the star about $800,000. Channel 4 went on the air with a staff of about 35. Today, the news department alone is larger than that. At 6 o'clock, we'll show you the first TV news operation in Kansas City and the people who made it work. Things looked pretty good back then, didn't they? The rain today couldn't stop TV4's 35th anniversary. It just moistened things up a bit. Then one shovel and a little elbow grease marked groundbreaking ceremonies for our anniversary present to the city of fountains. A fountain. A new fountain will include a series of water jets leading to one dominant pillar of water right in the center. Jackson County Executive Bill Warris presented us with a proclamation for 35 years of service to the county and the city. Kansas City Mayor Pro Tem Joanne Collins and Harold Rice, the chairman of the city of fountains committee, also helped with the dedication. You'll be able to see your new fountain in full operation. Are you tuned into the names Randall Jesse, Bill Leeds, and John Harrington. If you are, then you've probably been watching TV4 for a long time. For the benefit of our younger viewers, Jesse, Leeds, and Harrington are three of Kansas City's first television news reporters. And they kept you in touch with your world right here on TV4. It was 35 years ago tonight that WDAF-TV went on the air, bringing Kansas City television news for the first time. Sue Parcell continues her series of special reports with a look at what has happened to us and you since then. It's electronic today, a computer-generated, graphic-oriented, videotape world of million-dollar equipment. We take it for granted. But it wasn't always like this. Now we're waiting to hear back troops moved in, Army Secretary Blucker has announced a reduction forecast. That in the more simple days of the late 40s and early 50s, TV news was more simple, too. We were owned by the Kansas City Star, and our announcers would just go downstairs and tear off news releases from the Kansas City Star, get it from the city desk. You just had the one anchor person right. at that time. We started out with just a common desk type uh, set and uh, drapes in the background. That's that's all we had. In the, the anchor man who most often sat in front of those drapes was Randall Jesse, Kansas City's first TV newsman. Randall ran out of of material about five minutes early one time, and he hadn't lived news for five minutes. Greatest ad liver in the world. Sammy Feeback was Kansas City's first TV news cameraman. He often traveled in Kansas City's first TV news mobile live unit, a converted Packard that the people at Channel 4 called the hearse. The team of Feedback and Jesse were among the Channel 4 news people who stayed on the air live night and day during the 51 flood. There was more live coverage of the Southwest Boulevard fire in 59. This from a young reporter named John Harrington. And there it goes. There it goes, and here they come. They're running all over the place. This is the darnest thing you've ever seen. I'm getting out of here. And another young Channel 4 reporter named Walt Bodine was on the scene of the Ruskin Heights tornado. 
The faces have changed over the years, so, for better or for worse, have the news sets. But what changed most of all was the way news was covered. The oncoming the videotape, which we put the first tape machine in in 1959, Mm -hmm. Changed the whole scene of television. Videotape revolutionized TV news, but it also marked the beginning of the end of an era, the era of live local programming. We'll take you back on the Nightcap. Stu Parcell, Action 4 News at 6. Some very talented pioneers who made it very comfortable to inherit this studio. Many Thank of them you. still here in this mm -hmm. studio. Nightside reporter Barbara Remkes is in the newsroom right now with a preview of some of the stories you're going to be seeing on Action 4 Nights. A stroll down TV4's memory lane. WDAF-TV has had the privilege of serving you, Kansas City, for 35 years now. And as a show of our appreciation and love for you people in Kansas City, a gift, a fountain. By next spring, you'll be able to see this latest addition to the City of Fountains at 31st and Southwest Traffic Way in front of the TV4 building on Signal Hill. Now, to help our dedication and make it extra special, Jackson County Executive Bill Warris, Kansas City Mayor Pro Tem Joanne Collins, and Harold Rice, the Chairman of the City of Fountains Committee, were on hand. One of our ways of saying thanks. To say the least, TV4 has come a long way in the last 35 years. Just how far? Well, Sue Parcell takes a look at then and now in her final report on the 30 fifth anniversary of WDAF TV. Oh, Liza leads the tears, which she does quite well. And now for Camel Mountain, she's perfected a yell. 35 years ago, it didn't take much to entertain a television audience. Just ask longtime TV4 stagehand Ray Mayer. And when the test pattern was on, you would find people just looking at the test, test pattern, which was a big deal then. When the test pattern wasn't on, Kansas City could watch some network shows on Channel 4, like John Cameron Swayze's Camel News Caravan. Today's news today. Ladies and gentlemen, a good evening to you. AP correspondent John Whitehead reports from... Co but local programming, much of it live, filled half of Channel 4's schedule. Everything from kids shows to quiz shows. I did a quiz show where we pitted 7th grade students against adults, used 7th grade questions. A series of 17 shows and the uh, adults won twice. Murray Nolte did a lot of shows on Channel 4. His personal favorite, a daily 90-minute program called Dr. Inventor. Back then, even the commercials were done live. Murray Nolte recalls ad-libbing a commercial for Hoffman Buick. He told the Channel 4 audience Hoffman Buick had the highest prices and the lowest trade-in. Have any of you boys and girls, any of you been missing the fun factory? When people ask me about do you miss television? I say, no, I don't really miss it in the sense that I'm anxious to go back or want to go back. But I wouldn't trade my years in it for anything in the world. It was fun. It was a lot of fun to do. And it still is. Because when it comes to live television, some things haven't changed. Can you hear us out there? Even though the average adult drinks 34 gallons of beer every day, that can't be right. <laughs> this is John Cameron Swayze saying good night for Camo cigarettes. Sue Parcell, Action for Nightcast. <laughs> Did you I, really say that? I didn't know she was going to use that. I remember that well. Yes, the nation saw that on Dick Clark's mm -hmm. bloopers, by the way. And well, they sure should. I want to be remembered that way. <laughs> that wraps up Action 4 Nightcast for now. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow on Action 4 News at 5, more energy-saving tips for the winter from Linda Carson. The Tonight Show is up next. As we close, we'd like you to meet some of the people at WDAF-TV. And thank you, Kansas City, for 35 wonderful years. Good night, everybody. You've been watching Action 4 Nightcast, Kansas City's most up-to-the-minute late-night news. More people in Kansas City watch news on WDAF-TV than any other station. Remember, to us at Action 4 News, news comes first. Coming up, Kansas City's most comprehensive election coverage continues. As Missouri and Kansas voters turn out today in record numbers. WDAF-TV, Kansas City's news leader. This is Action 4 News with Phil Witt, Cynthia Smith, Glenn Hansen, Business News, Dan Henry, Weather, and Frank Bull, Sports. Hello again, everyone. 
In one hour, the polls in Kansas and Missouri will close, and then we will begin to learn how this 1984 election will unfold. Waiting most anxiously are the candidates and the supporters and opponents of the various propositions. will appear on the screen for only about 15 to 20 seconds. TV magic. We'll be on a lot more than that tonight as Phil and I bring you tonight's election results. Helping us out will be Bob Phil and Barbara Remkes as they join us from the election returns desk. And just a final reminder that all throughout this evening, Barb and I will be here at the TV4 election desk, bringing you the latest returns from the Kansas City area, as well as the big races across Kansas and Missouri. And I'll be handling the Kansas vote totals, and Bob, the numbers coming in on the Missouri side. It all begins with our first election update at 722, less than an hour from now. And of course, a complete election wrap-up on the night cast at 10. We have a big night planned for you, and that wraps up Action 4 News for now. Stay with us throughout the evening for Kansas City's best election coverage. NBC's Decision 84 election coverage is next as we close. Here are some of the people at the Johnson County Election Board. Good night, everybody. We'll see you again at 722. You've been watching Action 4 News, Kansas City's leading news station. More people in Kansas City watch Action 4 News than any other newscast. Remember, to us at Action 4 News, news comes first.